Hey guys, I hope that you are doing well. Welcome to today's video, which is the basics of SMMA. So my name is Selim Shemi and for 2020, I'm doing a challenge, which is one YouTube video per day related to social media marketing, SMMA, right? And related also to what you guys need. So whenever you need, you know, you have a question, you want me to talk about a particular subject of SMMA, you can send me a DM on Instagram. Uh, by the way, I answer all DMs. So if you have any questions, we can talk about it together while I can. All right. And on YouTube, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and, you know, comment any topic, any subject, and I will, I will be very happy to answer it. All right. So the basics of SMMA in 2020, uh, I believe there are seven um, things that you should uh, see, all right, that you should consider when starting a social media marketing agency. And let's go, let's go about it in order, all right? What's the first thing that, uh, you know, that you need to, to see, that you need to take uh, the time to figure out first? So the first thing is finding your niche, finding your service and finding your USP. So at the beginning, you know, it's always good to target a niche. Maybe if, you, if you're not sure yet, you can start with two or three niches. But I feel that uh, having only one niche is always the best thing because you can focus and you can know your market. You can know the language of your clients. You can know uh, what resonates with them. And that's really important so that you can tune your message to them. And it's easier to close them because you know you know their industry, you know what they are going through, uh, you know how you can bring results to that particular niche because bringing, bringing results uh, depends on the niche, right? It will differ for e-commerce, it will differ for a restaurant, it will differ for a dentist. So each niche is different and it's really important that you figure out how to bring results for one niche. It's really easy, easier, right? And you want to focus if you, you know, if you try to um, if you try to bring results to all the niches, you will bring results to no one. All right. So stay focused. Stay focused on only one niche, and I would even recommend you one niche and one service. All right. So again, the service really important. Uh, what you know, what the niche needs basically. What do they need? Do they need Facebook ads? Do they need Google ads? Do they need SEO? You need to talk to them. You need to outreach, like, you know, take the phone and call them, figure out what they want. And then you have also the USP, so the unique selling proposition. What makes you different from all other agencies out there? There are so many agencies why your clients should decide to work with you and not another agency. All right, so the three things, really the first things that you want to figure out before starting anything. All right. Then having the right mindset, you know, choosing the right clients, thinking in terms of abundance, all of those are questions of mindset, not giving up. I mean, it sounds, you know, sounds cliche to not give up, but the, the, you know, you know, one thing that the, all the agency owners that succeeded have in common is that they didn't give up. And seriously, that the only thing, so having the right mindset, so, is important. It's 80% mindset and 20% skills. All right. So, you know, mindset is, you know, it's uh, what is it? four times, you know, four times more important than, than skills because, you know, and it, it takes time. It takes time to be in the right mindset. It takes time to, uh, you know, to figure out what your fears are, why you don't want to outreach to clients, why you are always lowering your prices. And it's all questions of mindset, fears, insecurities, doubts, we all have them. And so having the right mindset is really important. Then we have sales, closing and negotiations. Uh, this is a really important part of social media marketing uh, agency because, you know, without sales, without closing, without knowing how to negotiate, you won't be able to close client uh, at a price high enough and you won't be able to close client in quantities uh, you know, high enough so that your agency can survive to the marketplace. So again, those skills are just so important to have and you can't, you can't afford to not have them, especially if you are the leader, if you are the business owner, uh, you need to have them because that will be your main job, you know, shaking hands, selling them, 
closing them, negotiating the price, that will be your job, all right? And it's your job to take care of your business. It's your job to take care of your company. Uh, the lifeblood of any business is money. So this is your job, all right? Then client attraction. So once I know how to sell, once I have my niche, once I have my service also, you know, I, I will talk about it just a little bit later, but I want to be, I want to know how, how to be able to generate meetings on demand with my niche, how I'm able to, you know, to people that people come to me and ask for meetings. Uh, how can I outreach to people and ask for meetings? How can I be sure of the number of meetings I will have each month? How can I be sure of the number of meetings I will have each week? So client attraction, you need to figure out how to uh, generate a lot of meetings, all right? The more meetings, the more clients. And you need to get out of obscurity. The problem, you know, with so many businesses is that people don't know you. P like the businesses don't know who you are. They don't know your agency. So when they are ready to buy, they don't even think about you because they don't know you. So outreach to as many people as possible. You want to get out of obscurity, all right? The team, or you, you know, you won't be able to do everything by yourself. You will need help for the client attraction. Maybe you can do the sales, closing and negotiations. I mean, you need to do it, all right? It's a must. Uh, but again, you can outsource the closing, for example. I prefer to do it myself, personally, because I love that part. And I think that uh, it's better for the clients if during the closing they talk to the business owner. Uh, even for negotiations, right? You want to be doing this yourself. But, you know, uh, for the service, for example, for service delivery, um, you can outsource it. You can have a team. You can have a contractor doing this for you, all right? So you can focus on sales, the lifeblood of your company, the lifeblood of your business. And the team is really important. And, um, you know, you won't be able to do everything by yourself. So at one point, you will need to outsource and you will need to build a team for your company, all right? A great team, a highly effective group, all right, that will work to, together towards a, a common goal. Then systems. Again, I talked about uh, this week, I talked about auto billing and auto invoicing. So you want to, ha you want to have as many systems as possible. Think in terms of systems, all right? Which system, like all of those are just systems, right? The team, what are your sales systems? The, the mindset, all of those are just systems. And finally, service delivery. So which service will you be bringing to your clients? When you get a client, what are the steps? What's your process, you know, to, uh, to achieve results and in how much time? All of those questions, you need to be defining them and don't onboard a client if you don't know how to deliver the service. If you have no idea how to deliver the service, work with somebody like, you know, hire, uh, outsource the clients, like hire somebody so that he can bring the results for you. All right. And you can learn along the way with him. So those are all the basics, really the basics of SMMA that you need to consider for 2020. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to join me on Instagram. Uh, I do a lot of stories, a lot of tips. We will do uh, also Q&A, Q&A session uh, in live stories. And uh, don't forget also to subscribe to this YouTube channel. I'm going to bring a lot of value for you guys in 2020. And, you know, during the rest of the years also. So again, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that it can help you a little bit to uh, start your company, to start your agency. And I will see you guys tomorrow.